My next guest says abolish all of these agencies multiple times. Former presidential candidate, libertarian, Dr. Ron Paul is with me now. Dr. Paul, welcome back. We're glad you're here. That is a strong statement to abolish these agencies. What would be in their place? Oh, the people would get happy all of a sudden. They'd say less government. The part of the government that hasn't been doing us any good. We certainly don't need the IRS. We need to re Okay, hang on, hang on, get Dr. Rid of the Paul. Income tax. I just have to ask you, how would we collect taxes? How would how would we function? Well, we would function just like we did for 135 years before 1913. You know, we did rather well. But the, the, you're right about challenging that because if you want the government we have today to run to pay for a runaway welfare system and believe that we're the policemen of the world, oh no, there won't be enough money. Matter of fact, the income tax hardly even touches the interest, so it's not enough. So that's why they run up debt borrow money and then print money but that's where the problem is so if you want a good tax system or get rid of the income tax we have to have a different opinion about the role of government today the role of government is something totally strange from the constitution american traditions because we were supposed to design a system where people had their liberties protected but not for the government to manage our lives and manage the economy and manage the world economy and, and be the policeman. No, it wouldn't work. And the income tax isn't solving that problem. That just sort of encourages them a little bit. So, Dr. Paul, let me ask you, we just talked about taxes. I take your answer. What about the TSA? There's a lot. I know people wait on long lines. It's inefficient. They seem to, there seems to be a strong argument that they are certainly overpaying some employees. But the flip side is the world is more dangerous than ever. There are people who want to turn airplanes into bombs. So at some level, we need <laughs> some system. Well, there's no evidence for that. It's been around since 2001. That was the first thing they immediately did after 2001 is undermine the civil liberties of American citizens. But nothing much has happened. They haven't prevented anything, but they have undermined the civil liberties of all Americans. People hate it going to the airport, and it doesn't make us safer. It costs a lot of money. And that's what the evidence is showing now, the total failure. You know, they, they send 78 people through with knives and guns, and about 90-some percent get through. It's totally inefficient. And uh, why should we depend on the bureaucracy of a government? It always fails under these circumstances. And there's other ways to do it. Most security in this country is provided by private sources, and airlines are private. Why don't you put the responsibility on them? One reason is the airlines don't want it. They want to dump it onto the government and dump the liability onto well, the taxpayers. I was going to say, they're probably, and, and, and I it have doesn't to say, work. if I were an airline exec, I would understand not wanting to be sued or not wanting to be personally <laughs> right. liable. I understand that. But let me ask you about the VA, which has been a source of, of great sadness for many vets to see how uh, some of their comrades are treated. I mean, we need a, a, a hospital system to care for returning <laughs> soldiers, no? Well, ask most doctors. We all go through the VA system. There always seems to be a VA hospital next to the hospital. And there were a lot, of, a lot of problems even back when I was in school, back in the late 1950s, but it goes on and on. It's, it's the bureaucracy that we're talking about. Bureaucratic management by government is not a solution to anything. It's, uh, it's, it's the difference between uh, private, private sources and government. And why, why would we want to go to the bureaucracy, which causes lines? They cause lines at the airports. They cause lines at, at the VA. So Everybody you would privatize all lines. of these uh, entities, for example? Well, well, yes, uh, what you, what you want to do is not uh, contract it out and get a private group getting a contract with the government if, for the veterans uh, and give them their insurance policy. Okay. You know, let them go find their insurance, find, find and their health And let them choose uh, where they want to be. Dr. Paul, before we let you go, I know we're six months away from the general election. Uh, there is one libertarian candidate who seems to be gaining. Uh, there was a uh, Mary Let Matlin uh, backing at least one well-known person, Austin Peterson. What do you think of that? Well, I'm going to wait and see. I haven't endorsed any, and they have their convention this week, and uh, I would lean toward right now, since I can't vote for a Republican or a Democrat candidate that's uh, leading, that I would look to the Libertarians, but I certainly haven't endorsed uh, any one of the three. All right. Well, we'll keep asking. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Paul, thank you very much. Glad you're here. You're welcome.